So what am I going to report on today? King's Dominion may have released some massive leaked plan news of a B&M wing coaster for the 2021 season in Volcano's old site. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonx the Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news from Blake from King's Dominion. Now before we get started, a massive shout outs go to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair and Tom Berry. If you want a shout out in our next video, then please comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a YouTube update and let's get into this video. Uh, so this is from King's Dominion, uh, this is on a massive 2021 leak. Um, make sure you go check out the link in the description down below on the article from KD fans, Kings Dominion fans, um, for more information on this and some images on this. Um, so all will make sense once you read the article. Um, but I'm going to put a picture of a B&M wing coaster on your screen now. Fan Dabby Now, make sure you stay well. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for that picture because that's the type of coaster we're looking at here. Uh, so. Basically, um, just to sort of uh, draw your attention, these are not the final plans. We don't believe these to be the final plans. Uh, this should be viewed as a possible proposal for the replacement of Volcano of the Boss Coaster, not assumed as the finalised plans for the project. So, basically, um, in a nutshell, these proposed plans are a small, roughly 100 foot tall B&M wing coaster featuring a lift and five inversions taking up residence in Safari Village on the former volcano site. Uh, now you can check out some images in the article, make sure you go check them out. Um, so basically we've got, uh, in this first image you've got 15 sort of sections including transfer track, storage track, the lift hill, the inversions, the station area. You've got the grey lines as well, which are the queue line for the ride. So that's not listed, but that's technically 16 then, even though it's not listed. Um, but yeah, the queue line's in there as well. You can clearly see like um, an entrance, an exit. You know, there's, there's clear things on this pl on this leaked plan. So, uh, very, very clear. Um, and basically... Uh, a few other things uh, to mention. Now, this is one of the main things that I picked up from the article. Um, now, this is, uh, if you take off the dive drop, add in a helix, like a simple bank turn, and then uh, in place of the final helix of a current wing coaster, then you've pretty much got a similar layout to Heaven's Wing, which is a hot go clone uh, in Japan at HB World. Um, so basically, if you think of that, but replace the final sort of uh, dive drop, and um, if you remove the, the vertical loop after the dive drop, and swap in the, a bank turn for, in place of the final helix on that ride, then you pretty much got this plan, basically. Um, now, many people, if it obviously it's not the final plan, but I think if it was, if it, if it was the final plan, people wouldn't be happy about it. But you know what? I'd be quite proud about that because, of course, Virginia doesn't have a wing coaster. Bus Gardens Williamsburg doesn't have a wing coaster. So Kings Dominion would have something that BGW hasn't. So I think Kings Dominion have got something good here. Uh, whatever it could be. Um, now another main thing I picked up in the plan is of course the unused space. Uh, now this is on the big turn for Volcano. Uh, right near to Avalanche or right next to Avalanche's uh, sort of lift hill turn. Um, now... That space could be used for a flat ride. It could be. It could be literally anything. But I think if this, because this, because this isn't the final plan, I think they're going to create an even bigger layout and they're going to use that unused space. But if they don't use that unused space, I'm thinking for a phase two for the Safari Village area expansion, they're going to use the Avalanche to uh, ride to be rethemed, and they're going to use that unused space for a new attraction as well, like a new flat ride or something. But if not, if that if the if the sort of final plans end up using that unused space, then we could just be looking at a wing coaster. Maybe retheme Avalanche to phase two and just retheme Avalanche instead uh, as a phase two and no new attractions as well. But I think Avalanche either could bite the dust or it could be rethemed as involved in that Safari Village expansion. Um, you'll notice on one of the images on Google Maps as well on this article as well, uh, you'll notice things like. Uh, the expanded Safari Village Plaza 
uh, right near to the coaster. You can see like the grey lines for the queue line actually merges with the red of the expanded Safari Village Plaza area. Uh, so you'll know that the queue line will come on the end of the plaza. So again, it's nice to see the thinking about uh, the theme of this ride. It looks like we're going to be uh, going for this kind of theme. So as depicted in the map above, the coasters, transfer track, station and lift all, power, uh, lift all run parallel to Flight of Fear's launch tunnel with the wing over drop towering directly next to the pathway that leads back to Flight of Fear and Intimidate at 305. Uh, the visual of wing coaster trains diving down through that inversion for this angle would, honestly. I, I looked at this and I thought, wow, that's fantastic. Um... Now, currently, a large fake rock structure featuring a waterfall is located in this general area, and it's unclear whether that will remain or be demolished, but it strikes me uh, as fairly unlikely that it will stay, so I think that will be removed. Uh, another big thing to mention is that Scrambler was located in, that, in one of those expanded area sites. There's a possibility that that could be removed, so I think if we get the announcement that Scrambler's being relocated to another area of the park for next year, or just being removed altogether, then that will pretty much say to us that this wing coaster is happening, whether the layout changes or not. Uh, like I said, this is not the final plan, but I think even if we have a changed layout, I do believe that uh, we'll get the news that Scrambler stays or goes. Um, now, interesting things to mention here is that the Zero G role, Junior Immelman, and the Heartline role in the plans all take place in areas occupied by King Dominion's now demolished mountain structure. Um... And from that downward spiral, the corkscrew, the bank turn, and then the final break run, all located in areas occupied by Volcano itself. Um, so, you know, there's really big things here. Now, this is uh, labelled in the documents as a 2021 project. However, uh, as of a few months ago, King's Dominion was working to have Volcano's replacement ready for 2021. So whether that date has been pushed back to 2022 or not, we still don't know. So it's very interesting to uh, explore whether that's going to be a 2021 project or a 2022 project. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with that. So there we go. So that's some of the stuff then from the article that I picked up on King's Dominion's 2021 leak project. Like I said, this is not the final product in any way possible. This is just... Um, a rough outline of the project this is just what the project will pretty much be in terms of coaster type etc so we're pretty much expecting a bnm wing coaster anyway but it's just a case of layout changes uh unused space being used rides being relocated stat structures being demolished for it expanded plaza areas uh and stuff like that it's just all the things you've got to keep in mind I'm sure the public filings will come out, and now the article states that the public filings will be coming out in about the next eight months. So it could be summertime next year when we sort of hear about this uh, next. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this. Uh, I'll be following this project very, very closely. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for more videos on this. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Shao. Cool in the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.